Did Mikey from the Life Serial ads really die when he had Pop Rocks and Coke at the same time, or was that just an urban legend? In the 1970s and 80s, Mason Reese was a young, charismatic commercial actor. According to the New York Times, the child actor starred in over 75 old-school commercials and won awards for his performances. And after captivating audiences with his commercials for brands like Underwood Deviled Ham and Dunkin' Donuts, he went on to publish an autobiography at the young age of seven and became the co-host of The Mike Douglas Show. But the New York Times said that after his childhood career fizzled out, things became difficult. He spent years as a drummer in various bands bar hopping, and by 1996, a series of accidents had left him walking with a cane at age 31. Reese said, I don't necessarily think I will ever have the popularity as an actor I once did. In that business, you're only as good as your last job, and you have to scrape the rust off to remember what mine was. The former child star did, however, attempt to return to acting in the 2017 web series Life Interrupted. And in June 2019, Reese was also interviewed on This Morning about his unconventional relationship with his girlfriend, a model 27 years his junior. Cruising around on the mobility scooter is really fun. At just three years old, John Gilchrist starred in his third commercial. The boy played the iconic Mikey in a TV spot for Life Serial, and although he didn't actually have any lines, the little one and the commercial became an instant hit. The ad ended up running for over a full decade, with Gilchrist ultimately reprising his role as Mikey in a new ad campaign in 1986. And no, he didn't die from eating Pop Rocks. Gilchrist ultimately moved on from acting, working behind the scenes on films like Speed 2. He attended college and became a director of media sales, which means he negotiates with advertisers on television ads. Still, Gilchrist will forever be linked with the character Mikey, and he doesn't mind that at all. He told Newsday, It doesn't bother me. To the contrary, I just never looked at it like some huge big deal. Maybe that comes off to some people like I don't want to talk about it. Totally not the case. I love talking about it." Alison Stoner was a fixture of the early aughts. At age seven, she starred as a dancer in the music video for Missy Elliott's 2002 hit, Work It. The pigtailed spitfire became an instant celebrity, and for a while, her face was everywhere, from films to talk shows. Stoner was also pursued by big corporations, who sought to use the dancing sensation to sell their products. Her most memorable commercial appearance was in 2004, when she danced for JCPenney's Back to School ad. Stoner has been incredibly busy since the days of child stardom on the Disney Channel. In 2013, she released a dance anthem, Dragon, That's What You Wanted, followed by several more singles. Stoner is also an accomplished voice actor for various video games, movies, and television shows, including Phineas and Ferb. And in 2019, the icon teamed up with Missy Elliott for a nostalgia-filled VMAs performance. Her signature pigtails were long gone. In their place, Stoner rocked an ultra-chic pixie cut. She tore up the stage in a yellow tracksuit, leaving fans in awe of her incredible transformation. In addition to her bustling entertainment career, Stoner is also a successful influencer. Her social media accounts are peppered with dance videos, wellness tips, and personal updates. And after struggling with mental health challenges, the busy creator also co-founded a wellness community called Movement Genius. I chose to recover and I'm so fortunate that I had access to the support. That's not the case for many people. There is an inordinate number of cereal brands in the world, and they're all simultaneously vying for the attention of consumers. So it's no wonder that cereal companies pull out all of the stops when it comes to advertising their products. From famous catchphrases to timeless characters, we thought we'd seen every marketing gimmick. That is, until Reese's Puff cereal debuted its Reese's Puffs wrap. The first iteration of the wrap appeared in 2009, but in 2014, the cereal bigwigs created a new rap tune. The new version was performed by William Lupo, a suave teen in a Reese's Puffs-inspired Letterman jacket. 
In the commercial, Lupo indulges in his favorite sugary breakfast treat, which he calls the unique taste so creamy with a crunch. These days, Lupo is still making music. However, the rapper no longer spits rhymes about cereal. In 2019, Lupo released a music video for his song Michelin Man. While the video contains some very adult content, it still manages to pay homage to Lupo's Reese's Puffs roots. In fact, boxes of the beloved cereal are featured prominently throughout the video. Many Cheerios commercials center on idyllic family moments at the breakfast table. However, in the past, they often failed to show diverse families. In 2013, Cheerios finally acknowledged the issue by featuring an interracial family in one of its commercials. The heartwarming ad portrays a curly-haired kid who dumps Cheerios on her father's chest after she learns of the cereal's heart-healthy benefits. The little girl was played by then six-year-old Grace Colbert, a biracial actor. Despite its adorable message, the commercial received hateful backlash. In response, there was a massive outpouring of praise for the progressive ad. Grace's mother, Janet Colbert, told MSNBC that the little girl thought she was getting attention for her bright smile. The following year, little Grace Colbert starred in a sequel to the commercial. Grace Colbert is a teenager now, and a busy one at that. In 2019, she posted an update on her Facebook, writing, Hey guys, I took a leave from acting to focus on school. I'm about to get back to the grind. In the 2010s, Old El Paso released an iconic ad for their hard and soft shell taco kit, featuring an adorable little girl who settles the age-old rivalry between hard and soft tacos by suggesting, ¿Por qué no los dos? The now famous catchphrase quickly became a staple in internet culture, as the little girl from the commercial became one of the most meme-worthy figures of the decade. The young actor, whose name is Mia Agraviador, was just six years old when she was dubbed the Old El Paso Girl. Due to her commercial stardom, Agraviador's childhood wasn't exactly normal, as she was constantly hounded to recite the catchphrase that made her famous. She told Pedestrian TV, I really had a time where I didn't like it and I felt really like uncomfortable and just upset if anyone <laughs> talked about it. Luckily, Agraviador found a new creative outlet in drawing and painting, and in 2020, the Daily Mail reported that she was working as a professional artist in Sydney, Australia. Still, she does occasionally dust off her most famous line for special appearances, such as a 2016 appearance for the popular Australian radio show Triple J. Before Brooke Shields was an it girl, she was an it baby. In 1966, 11-month-old Shields booked her first gig, an advertisement for Ivory Snow Soap. That launched her career, but her most infamous moment took place in a 1980 ad for Calvin Klein. Just 15 at the time, viewers slammed the commercial for its glaring over-sexualization of the young model. Outrage was so widespread that ABC and CBS refused to air the controversial advertisements. Since then, Shields has expressed that she doesn't regret doing the Calvin Klein ad campaign, but she does have issues with how the media treated her in general. She told Town & Country, I look at that little girl now and my heart really does go out to her. I look back and have anger for the ignorance of these grown adults who prided themselves on being journalists and educators. Despite her struggles as a child actor, Shields came out on top. Today, the former Ivory Snow baby is an actor, director, and all-around Hollywood icon. She also created the 2023 documentary Pretty Baby, Brooke Shields, as a personal statement. I felt it was really important to see how full circle my life has come. In the Coca-Cola-verse, everybody finds common ground, even people who seem to be worlds apart. That's exactly what played out in the famous 1979 commercial featuring football titan Mean Joe Green. In the classic ad, Green receives a Coca-Cola from a pint-sized fan, played by nine-year-old Tom Ocon. Moved by the sweet gesture, Green famously gives the kid his jersey. Ocon isn't so little anymore. In fact, the business owner is now in his 50s. But he still feels that familiar sense of childlike wonder when he looks back on the commercial. 
He told ABC News, My parents were both from Pittsburgh, and our family always rooted for the Steelers. It was a nine-year-old boy's dream. And 36 years after filming the treasured Super Bowl commercial, Ocon reunited with Green. CBS documented the encounter while the two reflected on the impact of their commercial. Before she was a Disney Channel darling, Brenda Song launched her acting career in television commercials. One of her earliest gigs was an advertisement for Cool Clips Barbie, a doll that featured color-changing hair extensions and sparkly hair gems. It was a brief appearance, but still, her acting conveyed the type of magic that every kid wants to experience while playing with their favorite toy. Song's Barbie commercial could easily be taken as an early sign of her enormous star power. While she always seemed to have natural talent, though, Song's journey to fame didn't come as easily as you might imagine. In fact, her family made massive sacrifices just so the budding actor could get her foot in the door. In 2022, she told Glamour, My mom had me at 17, and my dad was a teacher and still in school. My grandma was a maid, we had no money, but I was enthralled with acting. So my grandma took everything out of her savings, $527, and took me to this acting school. Song starred in a number of other commercials before achieving Disney prestige, but in recent years, she's appeared in numerous films, television shows, and voice acting roles, showing that all the hard work has definitely paid off.